Thank you once again for joining me on Crunch Econometrics. In this video, I will put you through on how you can analyze panel subsamples. But before you watch this video, I want to encourage you to watch these prerequisite videos. Watch my video on reshape wide to long and also the video on tips to building a panel data. The data I'll be using has 54 African countries from 2005 to 2015, so I have a short panel because my N is greater than T. I have five sub-regions as listed on the screen and I have five regional economic communities as listed on the screen. So I'm going to conduct analysis using these sub-samples. So if you are ready, if you have a data similar to mine, please do so and let's get started. So as explained earlier on, these are the countries on the sample from Algeria, number one, up to Zimbabwe, number 54. Each country in the sample has 2005 to 2015 observations, so 11 years for each of the 54 countries. And you can see the structure here, sub-regions, another structure here, REC, meaning regional economic communities. So what I want to do is I want to analyze this data on regional basis and on REC basis. So let's see how that goes. Always remember to execute the X2 set command before you start your panel analysis. Let me do that right away. I've executed and here I have a strongly balanced panel as reported by Stata. I'm also using the log variants of this variable so I've generated their logs. I've also created regional dummies, but I won't be using dummies in this uh, tutorial. But I still created dummies anyway. So first thing is to analyze the subsample along the regions. So this is the command. I've listed the variables and I put the if command here. If region equals equals, as you can see the codes. So I don't have to divide this sample into five different parts and be loading them separately to analyze. No. Right from the full sample, I can use the if command and create subsamples during analysis. So I'm going to highlight all and execute and let's see the results. The output is written to a .rtf uh, file on my desktop. So I click on this link to retrieve it. So on the screen we have the results. So here we can see each region. Let me quickly Rename them. Number one here is Central Africa. Number two is East Africa. Number three is North Africa. Number four is Southern Africa. And number five is West Africa. So here you can easily do a comparative analysis along sub-regional lines. You can make your arguments to see um, the impacts of these regressions on the dependent variable vis-a-vis -vis one region to another. So it's always good when you're able to do some subsample comparative analysis. So this will guide you. If you're having a panel data at the moment, I will encourage you to perform subsample analysis. So the next thing to do is to analyze this subsample along regional economic communities. So now let me highlight all this and execute and see how the results will be. So I have the outputs here on the screen, number one to five. These are the respective regional economic communities. So let me quickly change those. Number one is um, AMU. Number two is EAC. Number three is ECAS. Number four is ECOWAS. And number five is SADIC. So you can easily see it is easy to make comparative analysis along um, regional economic communities arguments. So whenever you are having a subsample analysis, it will definitely enrich your work. But first of all, you have to structure your panel data in such a way that it can capture the various heterogeneities and distinct features in the panel. So this is a subsample analysis along regional economic communities. The one we did before now is subsample analysis along sub-regions. In my panel papers, I make a lot of some sample analysis, so you might want to look at my paper. My papers are on my website, available for free download. I put the link in the video description. It will direct you to my website, but you have to cut and check out at zero cost. 
It will also help you to read my papers on how you can interpret your results and on how you can present your table. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you have not done so and don't go away. I'll be right back.